<laughs> Very good. There's a new resort there, Bry. Yeah, nice. Looks quite nice too. Is that Dumaguete? Yeah, that's Dumaguete on the other side. Oh, it's great. <laughs> I think it would take like, I don't know, like 20, 10 minutes. Yeah. Look, yeah. It's like, We're supposed to leave. Bus. Oh, here comes the bus. We gotta go and get the bus. Here we go. Yeah. Taking video. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're here in Cebu City today. Well, it's actually in the middle of the night because we well we left we left Grandview hoping to catch a ferry in Dumaguete City all the way to uh, Cebu City. Which uh, when we look at the internet, it says it should leave 11. Uh, 11 p.m. So we went to Dumaguete and we went straight to the port and they told us that the office of Kokalyong uh, shipping will only be open Wednesday so we asked them where can we buy the ticket and they told us to go to uh, what they call this Li Plaza which is the supermarket big supermarket uh, in Dumaguete downtown so uh, we went there and uh, to purchase a ticket but sad to say there is no ferry leaving uh, today the other option we have was to uh, catch a flight which is very expensive well for us anyway uh, because there's three of us uh, me Brian and Sabi she's here so she's with us traveling this time it costs around almost 7,000 just for one way so the other option is to catch the ferry from Sibulan which we did uh, we just uh, got uh, the local driver a tricycle driver um, to take us from Li Plaza downtown uh, Dumaguete downtown to Sibulan and that's around or something almost five o'clock and we catch the ferry fast craft from Sibulan to Liluan uh, it left at six o'clock um, at night and it's if you want to know the ferry uh, fare is only 140 peso each so that's very cheap and then when we got in the other side of Cebu which is Liluan port then we catch the series bus. It only took around five hours drive. So anyway, guys, I'm feeling very, very tired. So we are here in Cebu because we are going to look at a yacht in uh, Dry Dock, which is the boundary between the now city and Carmen Cebu up north. So stay tuned guys cause, because I used to live there. By the way guys, this trip we are going to look at a catamaran or catamaran yacht in dry dock. But for now, I would like to share with you guys our room that we booked, uh, a last minute uh, booking of the room. So it's quite nice. So this is our room. We have a queen bed and one, I should say, king size or maybe just a regular single bed for Sabi. But the room is quite modern. I know it's pretty plain, but the price we paid, it's, uh, it's quite good. I can't complain. They even provide us with some glasses and some cups and water with a small fridge oh just a little bit anyway so 
So it has a little fridge and a safe and it's air conditioned room. Uh, the television was working before, but then Sabi done something. Uh oh. What are you doing? You're sleepy, nah? So I can't show you the bathroom because Brian's using it. And they have a big mirror there. So by the way, guys, the room, we're not far from the, uh, what do you call this, the capital. So we're staying in Griffin uh, Hotel and Suites. It's not far from the capital. Actually, it's it's a walking distance uh, from the capital uh, here in Cebu City. So this is the lobby of the hotel we stayed in and that's the restaurant. We decided to catch a taxi all the way to uh, Dry Dock. So the boat that we are going to look at is in Zig's yard and there's another yard across there and that's Pepe's yard which is a Filipino guy and Zeke is uh, an American guy so above here on top of, on top of this here is his restaurant so yeah I used to live in this area here for a while um, living also on a yacht Brian and I used to live in a boat but it's not a catamaran or catamaran it's a single hole mono hole so this is something different for us well kinda we have some idea about boats um yeah it's gonna be fun um very exciting production that's what uh, that's what you get but in condensation yeah yeah <laughs> so it has a uh, fridge in here uh-huh angle it's, um, especially ones that have been run in sea mm -hmm. water and, and unless you've uh, flushed it fresh water flushed it yeah you know if they they sit too long and they're not not being used they gel up inside yeah. all the um, yeah, yeah. cooling yep. channels and everything in there they gel up yeah, yeah. with electrolysis and crap you know and um, yeah. and then next minute you've got overheating problems you know so you should be you should be running that engine at least yeah, once, yeah. once a week yeah, yeah. so it has one two three three births that's really good something in here if we get it going, um, there's water coming out of the telltale. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this is a bigger boat, Sam, yes. than Cabin. Papa's boat. So that's one of the cabin. And this is the chart table. No, that's right. Heads is bigger than... Pops his uh, heads. I like I don't like it. Yeah, if you need, if you want to do any glassing, you don't grind all that off. This is soft. You don't like it. Huh? Soft. Do you like it? I don't know. Yeah. The uh, floor. It's probably just... Yeah, have a look. Open it. It's fiberglass. Ah, okay, I see. Just because of this. There's probably the, the keel in there. I want to see. What are you doing? You're wrecking things. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> you know, I was waiting for you. I'm so sorry. We left Sabi out there. And she got tired waiting for us. <laughs> Come on, let's go. So this is the second cabin. Where? There's a locker. So that's an air condition apparently, that one day. So if we buy this one, Sabi. <laughs> Sabi, we go sailing. Yay! Why, you don't want? It's quite nice here. I mean, the boat is quite nice. I want to 
go to sleep. You're tired? Come and have a look. It has a little cooker. So, two burner. And he has a lot of uh, compartment there. There's a fridge. And a sink. Two sink. Two single sink. Small. But that's good. Enough. Plenty. She's got some bench benches. And then... It's an aft cabin. Sabi, this one is bigger. I like this one. You like this one? What are you Nothing. doing? Just sitting down. Come on. Why can't I stand That's a fridge. Yeah. There's a little and porthole. Then you want to buy a boat yeah. in your house? It it's has, it's storage? Mm -hmm. What are you saying? Make it louder. <laughs> what are you saying? You want to buy a boat? There's holes in her house. Did <laughs> 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 you feel sorry for me? I lie down in bed. Trying to sleep, and, and the then water just go. Yeah. <laughs> so we're moving the boat then. No, no. We just lived in a boat, and we wanted a house. And when we finally have a house, we want to live in the boat. Why is it so confusing? Uh huh. So that was Sabi's opinion about buying a boat after we already uh, live on a boat and then want to move into a house and then now want to buy a boat. So she's a bit confused. And that's all for today guys. Come on. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh. Hope you like this video. Let's go. If you do, don't forget to give us a like. We don't know what we're doing yet, if we're going to buy or not. I did do like the boat i think brian too but i think sabi is not too sure about it